If you're wondering how to handle negative comments on your YouTube channel, watch this video to see what we do. Welcome back to the Midlife Ride. My name is Chris. And I'm Catherine. And today we wanted to share with you all some of the things we have to deal with as YouTubers. Now, before we get started, we want to say that the overwhelming majority of our commenters are amazing, thoughtful, and kind, and supportive, and we love you all. However, things tend to get a little bit nasty in the comments on occasion. So we wanted to share what we do to deal with those, both for the channel's sake and for our own mental health. So let's read some of these mean comments, shall we? You have so many resources open to you for research. How could F up this bad? <laughs> They forgot the you. And that's one of the things you'll notice about negative comments on your channel is that typically they aren't very good at spelling and they also aren't very good at grammar. You jumped machines. Your video is stupid. Kill yourself. That's, that's pretty rough. When she withholds the $20 gambling money in envelopes, of course he's going to resent her. What I really resent is your lack of punctuation. <laughs> Is this for real? You guys need to get off YouTube. Content lacks anything remotely interesting. You two are annoying. <laughs> no argument there. <laughs> I can't believe you have a sponsor. I, I wasn't aware we had a sponsor. Do we have a sponsor? I, not that I'm aware of. That would be awesome. If anybody wants to sponsor this video, feel free to contact us and uh, We'd love for that to happen. I totally disagree with everything they said. Wasn't that a video about facts? That was a video about facts. <laughs> I think these people just don't know how to party, LOL. I would never kick it with these lames. <laughs> Remember, only boring people get bored. <laughs> Maybe like a two by four? Sure you made your uh, first grade teacher proud, there Skippy. <laughs> You should not do any more videos because this is just plain f stupid. Oh, this one's really simple and to the point, which I kind of appreciate. You guys suck. Only weird vibe is you two clowns. He spelled two correctly, which is surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Now, some negative comments are just plain funny. And this is one of those. That's how people cut meat in prison. <laughs> I was never very good with a knife and fork. <laughs> this is the best. So two comments that kind of go together. One from a woman who says, sounds like Chris controls it all. And then a man who says, she looks controlling and crazy. Good luck, bro. <laughs> More than likely you took that vacation cause that's <laughs> what you are old lady told you you were gonna do. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's looks and sounds like a serial killer. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Thank you, maybe I can get my own show. I don't know. My favorite ones are the ones with no punctuation or with punctuation in the wrong places. So all lies, Mirage is a great place. It looks like they were some cheapskates that were trying to get as much free stuff they could <laughs> clowns. <laughs> Could you? Not a question I usually ask myself during the day, but something to discuss in the comments below. <laughs> in general, we see the negative comments come in on videos that have gotten a lot of views. Now that's not to say that some of the smaller videos haven't gotten negative comments because they have, but generally speaking, our more popular videos are the ones that people feel the need to voice their opinion. And that's when all the experts come out and wanna tell us how we're doing everything wrong and how to spend our money. And in a lot of cases, just flat out contradict each other. Sometimes it stings. 
But we are very secure people, I think. It might hurt for a second, but we move on very quickly. These things are not going to affect our lives. And while all these negative comments came through on our channel, this video is not about us. This is about you, our fellow YouTuber. So what do you do when these negative comments show up on your channel? Overall, the things that we generally do and the way that we handle most of the negative comments is number one, we just don't respond at all. We just leave it there. Maybe someone else will handle it, maybe not. We just move on. Turn off notifications on your phone. Check them periodically just to see what people are saying. But if you want to drive yourself insane, it will be leaving your notifications on all the time. It's funny how the notifications for the negative comments seem to come through on the days when I'm not having a very good day or maybe <laughs> a very good week. And my first reaction usually is to throw the phone, then pick it up again, and then let this person know exactly what I think about them. Which he doesn't actually do, right? Number two, if you really want to respond, try to find something in that comment that you can respond positively to and just ignore the other stuff because they gave me just one little thing that I can maybe explain or latch onto and, and kind of turn it around into a positive light. I will do that. This one started off poorly, but ended very well. They need to have Chris on camera more, way less grading Karen drama. To which I responded, I would really like for Chris to be on camera more. I don't know why he wasn't in this video. I think he was tired and he just wanted to spend time with our friend. To which this guy decided to take his comment down and he posted a new comment that says, I'm sorry, I'm just a big, stupid, loud mouth jerk. Please forgive my idiocy and stupidity. I think you are both great and I watch all your content. I'm basically just an ass. Sometimes, you just don't know what people are going through. You have no idea what might be going on in their life. And so just reaching out and saying something might open the door for them to have a normal conversation with you. The great thing about YouTube and this kind of interaction is that you have unlimited amounts of time to think through what you're actually going to say. Generally, the way it goes is we'll kind of stew about it for a while, we complain to each other, we take out our frustrations without typing them. Sometimes we type them and then delete them, type them again and then delete them, and then come out with something that's very neutral. Even if it's just a thanks for watching, Mirage is great. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Woman with huge schnozzle on this video is so irritating. And that only gets one exclamation point, so I'm not really sure what to think about that. <laughs> So my response to this particular person was, I like to put the camera really close so you can see my schnozzle in all its glory. <laughs> and another viewer decided to come to my rescue and says, this douche canoe's standards don't matter. You're a good looking couple. And this guy, I assume he's a guy, but who knows, is obviously single or holding some poor girl captive. And sometimes if you just can't bring yourself to respond because you know it's not the right thing to do, and to quote my buddy Scott Stratton, you know deep down in your heart, you're not the jackass whisperer. You're not gonna make friends with these people. They're probably never going to see your reply. The other thing you can do is passively aggressively, like I have done, <laughs> pin their <laughs> comment to the top of the comments on your video. And remember, good or bad, comments mean engagement with your audience. So they either liked or hated you so much that they took the time out of their day to post a comment on your video. And I think that's a win. Pretend you are replying to one of the negative comments we've received, like this one. So tell us in the comments below, how would you have responded to that comment? If you could say anything, go for it in the comments below. We can't wait to see what you would have said. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video. And we will see you on the next episode of The Midnight Friday.